All right, so that's a huge slice. Now, with you, I have a whole lot of work I have to do. I'm gonna have to change how you set up. I'm gonna have to change how your body moves. I'm gonna have to change how the club face functions, and I'm gonna have to change how your arm functions, okay? And that other guy didn't show up. Yeah, right? <laughs> we got time. So put this down for a second. I'm going to start, okay? I'm just gonna isolate without a club, yeah. okay? Then I'll come back and I'll put the club back in your hand and I'll start working with you in terms of the setup and the club's movement. I'm going to start by working on how your body functions, okay? okay? So get in the golf stance and cover your chest with your arms like this. Perfect, okay? Get in your golf stance. I need you to be forced into good balance here, okay? So set up. That's not a golf stance, you're standing straight up. Okay? Bend your knees a little less, less. Round down more. Now, that looks more like a golfer. Okay? We can function from here. Where's the pressure? In the balls of your feet? Uh, pretty centered. Oh, that's the balls right there. Yeah. So, right in here. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay? There. So, there. We're, we're in a pretty good spot. Okay. Now, from here, we have to start making our backswing. So, this is going to be absolutely critical to setting you up. Okay? You currently have zero turn out of your body. None. Okay? So, we're going to isolate this trail hip. Start coming back for me. Start turning back. So you see how I turn that? Okay? Mm -hmm. See how your hip opened up? We'll deal with the upper body in a second, but you see that that, that hip is turning. Some lean knee has come in a little bit. That's what I want you to feel. Keep this knee pointed out. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. Now, that's actually a pretty good load right there. This chest is not going to function at all in the, in the fashion it is. So set up again. Okay? Bend the knees a little less. There you go. Round down more. There we go. Okay. Now, I want you to feel the hip is going to work, and I'm going to work your chest. So start going back. See how you're taking your head and moving? Yeah. Leave your head stable. Leave your head right here. Get your neck up a little bit. Leave your head right there. Start turning your chest or your hips. hips. See how I'm moving your chest? Yeah. Okay? I had to fight you hard here. We're going we're gonna to get into a position in a minute where it's not as hard for you. That's a decent amount. Really crank your chest. Beautiful. Okay, start over again. Now you didn't need to move your hips that much. We're gonna try and move our chest, our shoulders, and our core independently of our hips, okay? So we're gonna try and brace everything against it. If you look at me, I'm getting a big, I got about 45 degrees of, of hip turn here, right? Yeah. But then I turn my shoulders and I really get like a 90 degree crank. That's what we're gonna try and get. So set up for me. Your goal is to keep your head down, boom, on the ball, start turning back. Oh, you crank those hips way too much. There you go. There you go. Turn your shoulders. Beautiful. Feel that wind up there? Yeah. Feel that stretch? That's good. I want it to be uncomfortable early on. Let's do it again. Okay? Getting your setup. Bend the knees a little less. There you go. Start turning back. There you go. I'm using my hip here to keep you from overturning with your lower body. That's a much better load. One more time. Take it back. Good. Now, you're on your own. Let me see you do that. Set up right. Get your get everything square. Here you go. Turn it back. Okay? That's kind of good. You're pushing everything this way with your lower body. You see how everything's going in your front foot? Yeah. Feel like it's just going straight up. Boom. A good straight upwards turn. Upward movement. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Dig this down. Beautiful. Oh, don't go forward. You could turn a little bit more than that out of your hips. There you go. Good. I've worked on loading you in the backswing. Let's go grab your club. Now we've worked on the loading in the backswing, right? Yeah. So set up for me. Okay. I want to make sure when we load, the hands are working appropriately. Um, but first, I'm going to do a couple things to your setup, right? Okay. You have what we call really weak, weak, weak grip. Okay, so let me borrow this. Your grip gets in here, and you're straight holding this across your palm like this. Okay? Yeah. Oh, boom. That's put in this V way over here past my lead shoulder. That's going to be incredibly hard to square up. Okay? That, to get that club face squared up with forward shaft lean, my wrist is almost bent at a 90 degree angle. Yeah. So that's not even a functional grip. Okay. okay. So we're going to change how you grip the club. And I'm going to put you in a, in a fairly strong grip here. Boom. 
Let's get that thumb on the shaft. So you see now, when we set up here, whoop, let me turn that down, that that V that's formed right here is pointed over at your trail shoulder. Yeah. Okay, now put your other hand underneath it. Good. Now, we have a stronger club face when we set up. That's one of your big keys, okay? okay? So set up for me. Okay. Let's not loosen this a little bit. There we go. Take it again. Perfect. Now, I want you to make your body's turn. I'm going to help you take this club to the top so we build the field, okay? okay? Three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Push your arms away a little bit. That's actually pretty damn good structure right there, bro. For, for a super high handicapped golfer, that's a feel that we want to develop. Start over for me. Let's get you doing that again. Let's get your hands right here. Boom. Let's work these balance points a little bit, get a little bit taller. taller. Yep, boom, keep everything in. You can feel a little bend in your, in your elbows right there. There you go. Okay, good. Start cranking that thing back for me. Go. Okay. You're still picking it up a little bit. So you see how I get this arm more stretched across your chest? Yeah. Not just straight up in the air? Mm -hmm. I want you to feel that. We're going to get as much stretch across the chest as we can. So take it back. Big turn. Good. Good. That'll function. That'll function. You can get me more turn. There you go. That's the feel that you have to start building out of a high handicapper to bring them down, right? Okay. That's a fairly good load. You know, if we can do that with speed, we got two really talented golfers surrounding you, okay? That's going to put you in a position where you can actually function with them at some point, okay? So one more. Try it. Turn back. Big load. Oh, your, your arms went too high. Set up again. Get comfortable. There you go. Turn back. Beautiful. Right there. That's the feel we want for now. So give me some rehearsals on that. Really feel that chest crank. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.